In this video we'll consider creating dot plots using the base graphics system within R. To create an example of a dot plot we'll make use of a simple data set and it's a data set looking at four different continents and comparing the irrigation area that was available at four particular years 1980, 1990, 2000 and 2007. So our first step is to create a data set with this information. So I've copied across the commands from a separate file. So we're using the data.frame function to create a data set with three columns. So if we just print out what's being created by this command, so we'll see we've got the first column is the region, so the continent. So what we've done in our command to create it, we've used the rep function and then we've given this vector the four continents and repeated it on four occasions. So that's why we've ended up with Africa, Latin America, North America and Europe. Then repeated a second, third and fourth time. Then what we want to do is create blocks of four years, so 1980, 1990, etc. So what we do here is we create our second column as year, turn it into a factor because to start off with it will be interpreted as numbers. So what we do here is we create our vector with the uh, function C and then we've got four elements, each of which is a repeat statement. So we repeat 1980 four times, then we repeat 1990 four times and so on. Now in the base graphics we can make use of the function plot to create the dot plot that we're interested in. So again for simplicity I'll copy across the commands from a separate file. So first up we specify the area which appears along the x-axis and second up we specify the region so the continent which appears on the y-axis. We then put in xlab and ylab for text that will appear on the x-axis and y-axis respectively and then we add a title to the plot using the main argument irrigation area by region and last of all we specify this argument type equals n. So what happens here is we submit that command and now if we take a look at the graph that's been produced we'll notice that there aren't actually, actually any points on the graph. So what we then do is to make use of a function points to actually put some points on there for each of the years. Now what we're going to do is separate it out into the four years so we can have a different coloured symbol for each year. So again for simplicity we copy across the text from a separate file. So what we do is it's very similar to the plot command. We have the area and region but we subset down onto a specific year which in this case is 1980. So we do that for the area and the region. Then we specify we want the points to be black and we want to use point symbol 16 which is a solid circle. So now we'll see we've got values across the four regions. So similarly we'll just go through and add on points in blue for 1990, red for 2000, and lastly green for 2007. So here we'll see across those four regions we have got different coloured points. Now lastly we might be interested in putting a legend on the graph and with the base graphics as we're building things up bit by bit we make use of the function legend. So the first and second arguments are the x and y coordinates on the plot where we want the legend to appear. Then we specify what text actually goes in the legend, so in this case it's the four years. And then we're also specifying the four separate colours that we're using which in the same order so they correspond to the particular year that we used. And lastly we specify the fact that we want um, point symbol 16. So here we have our graph as we see x value of 10 and y value of 4 is where the legend has ended up being placed.